Hi, this is Bakery. Doing an unboxing video. I ordered three books through Amazon, brand new, all from a friend of mine. She's only just started publishing this year or last year, so she's only got a few out. I think she got six or seven out. Most of them she'd already had written, so she's putting them out rather quickly. I do already have the first one of the series, but when I went on, a couple of them were cheaper and I had the money to get them, so I ordered them. By the way, I'm not happy. Not with her. She's, she's great. She's been very great. But I got the notice from Amazon today saying my packages were in. I'm super excited. I have one package in my actual mailbox, the other two were shipped together in a larger box. Now down at the end of our driveway, we actually have a package thing to leave these things in. They did not leave it there, they left the box on my front porch. I live in Louisiana. It's been raining for like three weeks. There was no plastic, no nothing from Amazon, just a cardboard box. So I had to open this one early because lo and behold, inside, they did not put plastic or anything. They just threw the book in the box and shipped it to the rainiest state ever. And then left it outside. So, my brand new book, which is supposed to be in perfect condition, is now warped. There is cover damage. Part of the pages are bent. I find that highly irritating. And yes, Amazon will exchange for me, but now I have to pay to ship it back. Not happy. So now I'm stuck with a damaged book. So I either pay to ship it back to get an undamaged book, which will probably do it be damaged because they will do it again because it's the third time they've done this, or buy a whole new book because this one is damaged. And calling them does nothing because you don't get through to anyone. Messaging them does nothing because you don't get through to anyone. So, before any reaction to anything else, fuck you, Amazon. Okay. As for the book. This clearly makes me sad and upset, but this is book two of her series. This is the Kestrel Harper Saga. This is the second one. I have the first one already. I will show you that one. Here's the first one. This was another book that they just left outside. So again, this one is warped. So two of my books from her, mind you, a very good friend of mine, are damaged because Amazon is a fucktwit. First one is White Pawn. Second is White Prophet. <laughs> this is they put this one in the other box they double boxed this one so the box got damaged in this case and not the book I hope see here receipt. 
<laughs> nope, book is damaged because, again, Amazon is a fuck to it. And cardboard's supposed to protect paper from rain. Yay! Yeah. White penitent is the third one. Again, this has nothing to do with my friend. Amazon, I take the issue with. But these are her three books. There is a fourth one out. I have not gotten it yet. So, pawn right here. Prophet Penitent. All the titles, like the font, is all like, the same. They all have the same cover image. So, the theme is fairly consistent throughout. It looks like the colors itself are slightly different on each one. But I am mildly colorblind, so. It's just one looks really dark and the others don't look as dark. So. But those are those three books. I will be looking into getting the fourth because she's been writing those since before I lived with her. She's been writing them since, since her kids. And they're my age, so. She's been working on these for a very long time. I'm super excited to get through that series. And this is the other book I ordered. This one was actually in the mailbox where it was supposed to be. So, let's just see. Plastic on the inside of this. So, there's that. This is her standalone. It's called Suspic Suspicion's Gate. I did ask her if there was more to it. She says that it is a one-shot. It looks like it's either a concentration camp or a prison or something on the cover. I can't quite see it. It's kind of faded into the coloring, as you can see. But it, it's actually pretty cool. The style is nice. Uh, it looks like it is a concentration camp because I opened it to a random page and it says the Gestapo lost their cell. Guess on concentration camp. Oh yeah, the chapters are dated, so 1943. It is apparently around World War II. Let's see. Villages, villagers of St. Marie Sir couldn't have a problem, but not as big of a problem as the Allied soldiers detained in Solace 31 under the guardianship of Oberführer von Hausen and his officer. The problems boil down to trust and power. Who has it and who does not? Who can manipulate it and who can undermine it? Cut off from the leadership in Berlin, assigned to a year-long posting at this backwater stalag for what amounts to guard duty, von Hausen does his best to make the most of the hand of the Reich dealt him. Accepting the post because he believes this appointment is the best thing for his beautiful, troubled Jenny Wren. He never counted on Clara or the men he was assigned to guard, growing beneath his skin in ways that threaten his command at every turn. Stubenfurter St Stecker may undoubtedly be the greatest threat of all. To everyone, if von Hoffman cannot deduce his plans in time. The men behind the barbed wire, meanwhile, strong men, brave men, fight day and night for survival, determined to beat the odds, find a way out of hell, rebuild their lives. Surely they don't deserve to die for their misfortune or the determination to live. If only they could content themselves with following orders. If only this damn war would end so everyone could all go home alive. Okay, so it looks like it's a turncoat, a Gestapo changing his mind, and apparently he falls in love with someone other than his person. I, I don't know. Or maybe it's a child. I mean, it is a concentration camp. Children were there. I, maybe it's a child he got close to. I do not know. I mean, he seems to have gotten close to the prisoners, so I am going to have to check it out. I do read everything, mind you, but I 
have not read a lot of war things in a very long time. So, I'm not sure. Uh, honestly, I even though I read everything, I don't always enjoy it. And I don't usually enjoy war books. I do like history books, but like just a fiction about war, I, I don't usually enjoy them. I usually prefer non-fiction, knowing what actually happened. So this will be interesting, because I know she does a lot of research for her stuff, so it'll be interesting to see what she's found and how she's created it. So, looking forward to that. The other series is here, again, Amazon just me off, but I will deal with it because I am not paying to get a book that I already paid for. <sighs> but again, Kestrel Harper Saga, I've bought the first three now. Um, they were on Amazon on sale. So I managed to snag them. The fourth one is out. I do know she has a couple others out as well. I did not manage to get them this time around, but I will be looking into them. I, like I said, I know she's been working on a lot of these for a very long time, and I really want to see how they play out. So, I'm pretty sure Kestrel Harper, I think that fourth one, I think was the last book. I haven't confirmed it with her, but it's called The Saga, so I'm assuming it ends at four. So, I don't know. It could be anything. Usually a saga starts at four, so that's what I'm going to assume. So that would be the new book four to get. There's this. You will have to check her out. I will put her link in the video below, or actually in this video in the comment section below, or notes, or whatever you want to call it. Um. So, yeah. She does seem to enjoy longer works, uh, more plot in her stuff. And there's definitely drama, like Kestrel Harper. It's, it's fantasy to me, but at the same time, it definitely has the very real feel of like political system, so on and so forth. She, she likes a very dynamic, structured world, from what I can tell. Like World War II, it's war, but there's political systems, there's a hierarchy. It seems to work well for her. I've enjoyed what I've read so far. I will be doing review videos on these, so I will tell you more in depth in the actual review videos about what I think of them. You can, of course, message me if you already have the books if you are getting them or looking into them, I will be happy to chat with you, let me know what you think, I would be happy to pass along the message, I'm sure she would love to hear it, um, I would love to hear your comments as well, I would love to see how other people are taking these books, so, uh, my only suggestion would be, just be, be careful, leave a note on Amazon or something when you're ordering to find a safe place to put it because they are not properly packaging these items and they are getting damaged in the mail. It is not the author's fault, it is strictly the post office or Amazon's fault, I'm not sure which, but if you order, I'd say leave direct instructions on where to leave your package so the books do not get damaged. That is my best suggestion. Again, I'm looking forward to hearing what you think. Uh, again, links will be below. And I will be reading these. Check out her page. I will see you all later. Bye.